Here's Tormoresca Neprica, and this is the 2013 latest and greatest. <laughs> this wine is always a really super value. So this comes, of course, from Antonori's estate vineyards down in Puglia, uh, on the heel of the boot. That is Italy. Beautiful, warm climate, sun-drenched and uh, kissed by the winds of the sea. <laughs> but um, it's a blend of three grapes, the, you know, the Negro Amaro, which is the big uh, important grape from that region. Uh, then the Primitivo, which is the other popular grape grown in Puglia, and of course, because it's Antinori. <laughs> they blend in Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's a 40-30-30 blend, and it just, it just knits together so nicely. Uh, you know, these grapes all have their own individual character, and, and none of them is, is sort of <laughs> subtle, really. <laughs> I mean, you would never describe any of these grapes as kind of understated. But they all seem to, um, they all seem to come together in this blend to really show uh, something that's sort of, I guess, better than the parts, right? The whole is better than the parts. <laughs> yeah, you got lots of nice cherry and plums on that nose. Yeah, some floral notes, a little bit of sort of a flowery uh, violet. Mm. Maybe a hint of licorice in there too. Some chocolate, dark chocolate. Mm. Let's try it. This is um, really kind of mouth filling. Um, a lot of those nice plum notes, black plums. And uh, it's got some nice structure to it. <clears throat> On the mid palate, it kind of opens up, but then you get this um, sort of backbone of tannins, and the flavors start to turn to this really nice dark cocoa. A little bit of a licorice note, a little bit of a smoky note comes in too but it's also nice and juicy. There's a little bit of a acidity in here, balancing it all out. As I say, none of, this, <laughs> none of these grapes are supple, and the wine certainly comes across as um, assertive, mouth-filling, very tasty, great value. Happy drinking. <laughs>